everyone, it's Harry here from Pearl Breaks. Uh, welcome back. I got a little bit of a uh, Breaker Battles update for everybody. Um, no eBay purchase of the week. Uh, didn't find any uh, decent deals in this last 7 to 10 days to share with you guys. So, um, uh, unfortunately didn't have an episode for you yesterday. But I have an update to what... Uh, uh, you guys had seen me post and a few other content creators that I know a few of you also follow was the Breaker Battles. And uh, I know a little bit of a budget thing here, but I got uh, the standings here. So you see there in the middle, there's one team that uh, missed uh, entry point there. However, um, the other five of us are doing well. Uh, you can see the breakdown of the color coordination, there the colored boxes there and who's in first place and what category and this and that. And then total points. So as you can see, fortunately with me being carried by uh, my pitching staff here, I'm in first place, but it is close. I have 38 points. Ryan Gamble's 35. Canadian Boxbreaker, 32. And then Rippin and Alex are uh, just off the podium there. So, um, yeah, my pitching is uh, carrying me uh, through this uh first three weeks of baseball um we're gonna continue it on till the end of the season i know i had talked about possibly doing it um for the month of august and the month of september it's a short season uh we figured might as well just carry it on for the year see who is the ultimate winner and uh, just make one care package uh, for that person to receive so um yeah like i said uh, right now leading in the batting average ryan gambles has a slight, slight edge there over Rippin. Uh, I have the most hits, and uh, the most dingers is going to Canadian Box Breaker, along with the most RBIs, but it's a close race. Myself and Ryan Gambles are right behind him. Stolen bases, Ryan Gambles and I have uh, pulled away from a few others. And then the pitching wins, it's uh, pretty much tied, but uh, the the uh, earned run and the ERA, um, myself and Alex Pack pulls, we kind of have a... A bit of a lead there over the rest of them um, so anyways guys there's the standings um, maybe at the end of the month I'll show a breakdown of everyone's team it's been kind of difficult just to just to uh, sort out who is uh, who's injured who's COVID it almost like with baseball it's a day-to-day -day sport but I've uh, been keeping on top of it the best I can uh, these guys have a link to see the page uh, when I get the stats updated, so uh, it's going well, and uh, it's, it, it makes it makes the games where I'm not cheering for the Blue Jays uh, enjoyable. So, anyways, guys, it's uh, Top Chrome. I mean, Top's archives came out yesterday, I believe, or this week. Anyways, um, haven't got my hands on it. Um, it's just the auto checklist. Like the hobby boxes here in Canada are going for about one sixty. Um, after taxes and uh, there just isn't uh, the auto checklist for me I mean I'm I'm into collecting base rookie cards and Blue Jays and obviously there's there's uh, some big Blue Jay rookies in it but uh, I'd rather get the flagship ones from top series one two and chrome it's just it's what interests me so Here's my first blaster ever of Topps Chrome. You see me there on packs and pints. Um, uh, rip open a hanger box. So this is a blaster. Um, there's the odds for those that you have uh, been living under a rock and haven't seen it yet. And a no purchase necessary. If you pause it there and deliver an envelope, um, uh, you have a chance of getting a... a free card mailed back to you it's uh it's not guaranteed so uh anyways there's seven packs in here right yeah seven packs seven packs plus a bonus one four cards per pack it's 28 cards plus uh the sepia pack there at the end so um bit of a rip rip here uh and uh let's dive into it here so I remember from my hanger box, I got the Lizardo, which I uh, got there in the background for good luck. And uh, let's see what we got. So Willie Dames, Rowdy Teles going to the J. Oh, 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 first pack. Bike Trout Prism. 
That's a beauty. It's getting sleeved up right. Oh, and then right behind it, a double Mike Trout. Bingo. What a fire pack. Mike Trout Prism. So I'm coming back. I haven't got anything too. That is definitely the, the favorite Mike Trout card that I have right there. And uh, it's going to hang up there. And, uh, I mean, hopefully we can get some rookies and uh, some other guys in this. But but that's not, uh, I mean, that's not bad. A Prism Refractor Mike Trout Base card. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, I mean, getting a Trout uh, Auto would be amazing. But uh, they're very hard to come by. So, anyways, Mondesi. Dansby Swanson. Austin Riley, and an Austin Meadows. This kind of turned into a, 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 what would it be? I guess a breaker battle update, but then also some retail therapy. So Victor Reyes, a Paul DeYoung, a Honus Wagner die cut, 1990s, refractor, very nice. And there's our first rookie. Ruglio Armentiros. Johan Mancata, still looking for my first Roberts. Kettle Marte. A future stars of Austin Riley Refractor. And a Ronald Gruz Ronald Guzman. Don't have a Roberts. Don't have a bow. Don't have an all res. The only one I got from uh, that hanger box was the Aquino. Don't have a Lux. Would like to get all those. See nice Nick Solak on the back. Walker Bueller base card. There's a nice Shohei Otani. And then a Miguel Rojas refractor. And there we go, rookie Nick Solak. Very nice. I have him on my fantasy team. He's marked down as a. Well, on these, he's a third baseman. I believe on his base, he's a second baseman. But he's playing center field um, right now for the uh, for the Rangers, and and he's a base stealer and he's got some power. Blake Snell, there he is, Luis Robert. You ask, you shall receive. Just a base one, but uh, very nice, very nice card. Very, but actually, we're going to sleeve that up, too. Oh, so I got the base, base, Luis. I have that 2030 insert of Luis. And now I have uh, uh, Luis, or sorry, I keep saying Luis. A Luis Robert base chrome card for the background. There's an AJ Puck, 1985 rookie insert. And uh, Eric Hosmer. All right, last pack magic here. I think that's when... Got that Lizardo. It'd be nice to get uh, some another color here. Another box. Chris Archer. Brock Burke rookie card. Pablo Lopez. And the Logan Allen. All right. Well, I mean, you can't beat that box. A Luis Robert and a Mike Trout Prism. I mean, let's see what fire we can get out of these sepias. I mean, like I said in the last one, if I had to choose between the sepias and the pinks, although they, those do look sharp, I would uh, prefer the pink. So anyways, uh, Robbie Ray, a Max Muncy, an Alex Young, and Manny Machado. All right, everybody. Like I said, a bit of a crossover there of... Uh, of a retail therapy and a breaker battles update, but uh, beautiful for my first blaster of chrome. Nice prism refractor of Mike Trout and a nice base uh, Luis Robert for the collection. So, anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in the video. Leave a like below on which uh, which card you preferred. Do you like the, the prism of Trout or the the rookie? I mean, Robert is uh, he's injured right now, but he is. Uh, he is still a very popular man in the hobby. So anyways, guys, like I said, leave a like, a comment on which card is your favorite, and uh, uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. We greatly appreciate it, and have yourself a great day.